What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Imagine turning your Shopify store into a personalized shopping experience that not only delights your customers, but also boosts your sales. Let me introduce you in this video to Recoma, the ultimate tool for e-commerce success. Recoma is a powerful Shopify app that lets you create engaging product recommendation quizzes. It's super easy to use and can significantly enhance your customer experience and increase your sales. Just imagine having this on your Shopify store for your customers to see. Let me show you quickly how it works. Let's say you have a vitamin or supplement store and you want to help customers decide which vitamins or supplements are best for them. You can create a quiz like this one and the customer will enter or will open your page and then they'll click on this button, take the quiz, and then they'll continue with the quiz. So find my vitamins. Okay, what is your main health goal? So you set questions and then you add answers and your customer will get recommendations based on their answers. So here, for example, I want to support heart health. Do you have any specific concerns? So for example, I am suffering from fatigue. Okay, how often do you take supplements? Um, let's say daily. Do you experience frequent stress or anxiety? Yes. Are you looking for a short-term boost or long-term health benefits? I'm looking for both. And then your customer will have to enter their email here. So example at google.com. And later in the video, I'll show you how to collect the email addresses that your customers put in and integrate them with Klaviyo to send the customers customized marketing campaigns. Okay, now it's time to submit. And based on my answers, this is the product they recommended, the Omega-3 fatty acids for heart health. And I have a button here to add it to cart right away or retake the quiz if I don't like the answer. Now, let me add it to the cart here. Okay, it's in the cart. And now I can proceed to cart and continue the checkout process and buy the product. How cool is that? Now, let me show you how to create a similar quiz. Here, as you can see, I have my Shopify store. It's a brand new store that I set up for you. The first thing to do is to install the Recama app. And to do so from the menu on the left here, click on add apps and then click on Shopify app store. And then in here, search for Recama. Okay, Recama product quiz builder. That's the one. Now you want to click here on install. And then here, install once again. And now it is added and you are redirected to the dashboard. Here you can create a new quiz from here or from here. And you can watch some quick guides and watch some video tutorials. And you can communicate with their health center if you have any trouble. Let's create our quiz here. So create quiz. I need first to name my quiz. Let's say test quiz. Okay, create quiz. And here is the quiz setup screen. You have your quiz sections here. So here I'm editing the welcome page. I can add questions here and manage them. And I can edit the question and heading content in the window here in the middle. And here I can add images and button text and stuff like that. Let us add a heading. I do sell hoodies on my Shopify store and I have added a hoodie, a plain black hoodie. So for the heading, I'm thinking something like which hoodie color is best for you. Okay, and the subheading, I can add like a description or elaborate more on the question. So here, let me say, for example, answer the following quiz to know the answer. Okay, now I need to add questions. So I'm going to go to question number one. The question number one is going to say, what is your favorite color? And here is where you add the choices. So for choice number one, let me add black. Okay, add another choice, blue. Add another choice, let's say red. And you can add as many choices as you want. And in the options panel here on the right, I can select the question type if it's a single choice or picture choice. So I can upload many pictures and the customer would choose a picture. 
if it's a multiple choice question, if it's a drop down menu, yes or no text, I can collect phone, info screen, email, and name. Okay, let me add this question. So add question. Okay, now the question is added. I can edit the question if I want to change it. I can duplicate it or delete it. Now the question number two, let me add, how do you like the style? I'm just making up these questions. However, you get the idea. This is how it works. Now let me add here, regular size, add another choice, oversized, and another choice, let's say, I'm not sure. Let's add a fourth one. See, I like both. Now, let's say I don't like this answer and I want to delete it, the I'm not sure one. I can simply click on the X here next to it. Okay. And now the answer is deleted. Now let's add the question and the question is now added. Now here that I have two questions, I can click on these six dots right here next to the question title to reorder the questions. Okay, and as you can see automatically, number one and number two are switched. Okay, let's add a third question saying, do you like plain hoodies? Okay, choice one, yes. Actually, let's make this one a yes or no question. So, okay, yes or no. And now add the question. And finally, let me ask, do you prefer quality or low pricing? Okay. Here, let me add in the choices quality. Add a choice price. Add the question. And now I do have four questions already. Now, let's say I want to edit the first question. So click on this pencil icon here. And here I can edit the answers, add answers, add more choices, or delete some that I don't want. Now, let's take a look at the question options right here. Now, in the settings, I can add a background image, a question image right here. So let's try to do so. Okay, I'm just going to upload a random image from my computer. I can edit the image with if I want. I can make it a cover or a container or fill. I can position it to the left or to the right. I can hide the background image. I can make this question a required question for the quiz, which is pretty important if you don't want your customers to skip this particular question. I can randomize the choices. So each time the customer opens this quiz, the choices for the same question are in a different order. I can align choices vertically, enable HTML formatting, add the number or edit the number of choices per row, and edit the number of choices per row on a mobile device. Okay, let's make this question required one. And for each question, I need to add this option. Okay. And let's add another image for the third question here. Okay, another random image from my computer. And the fourth one is also required. And let's increase the number of choices per row here. Okay, now it looks good. So let's click on next. And here I can link products to my answers. And here we are. Now the way it works is for each answer of each question, you can add a specific product so that when the customer selects this answer, this specific product will be recommended for them. So for the first question, how do you like the style? For the first answer, regular, I can select a product, select a collection, or exclude products or exclude collections. Let me select a product here. And this is the only product that I have, which I'll add to all of the questions. However, of course, for each answer, you should add the specific product that matches this answer. Now, here, another answer, oversized, let's add the product, okay. So you get the idea, you should do the same for each answer to recommend the products, specific products for the customer. Okay, question two, what's your favorite color? Let's say black. Okay. And I don't have any other colors, so I don't, I won't add any options for the other answers. Do you like plain hoodies? Yes. So I'm going to select the product. Okay. Okay. Do you prefer quality? If it's quality, they are going to choose this hoodie. 
and if the answer is price, they are gonna select this hoodie as well. Okay, looking good. Seems I've added a fifth question. So let's go to the previous tab and yep, there is a fifth one. Let's delete it. Okay, and let's go next. And as you can see, as you go to the previous or the next step, your settings are saved. So you don't have to do the work all over again. Okay, let's go next. And now I can change the style of the quiz, how it looked like. Okay, so these are the styles here. As you can see, you have many style of quizzes that you can choose from. Let me choose this modern style. Okay, I can edit the background color, make it a bit of a blue color. I can add a background image, again, uploading a random image from my computer. Okay, this is the one. I can hide background image on welcome page. I can edit the font, however, this is for the pro users. And now I can edit the size or the welcome page headings font size for the desktop and the mobile, as well as the welcome page subheading. So you get the idea, you can edit the look and feel of your quiz page. Now here in the settings, I can see the quiz title. I can hide it. I can enable quiz retake, allowing the customer to retake the quiz many times. I can show a progress bar here. I can change the question numbering style as well as the answers numbering style. Also show product price currency code. Actually, let me uncheck this. Show product price currency sign and hide decimal in product price. You can control all these settings. Now let's go to the notification settings and you have the option to send an automated email to the admin when a customer answers the quiz. So if I check this here, I can enter the admin email address here or myself if I am the admin. So for example, here, let me add admin at google.com. Of course, you should enter your own email as the admin. And now let's go to the message variable settings. Now these variables allow you to show, for example, the username or the email of the person answering the quiz. And to do so, you simply need to copy the variable, the desired variable, for example, for the name and add it to your results pages, heading or subheading area. Okay, now let's go next. And here is where you can add integrations. So you can integrate it with Klaviyo or MailChimp in order to create email list or marketing campaign lists based on the emails entered by the customer when they want to answer the quiz. However, you should note that you need to upgrade to the pro version or the premium version here in order to integrate with Klaviyo or MailChimp or any other integration here. And once you are all set, let's get to the final step, which is publishing the quiz. Now you have many quiz styles. You can add it as inline pop-up, external link, or the most popular method, a button link, which means basically you have a button on your website that your customers can click on to get to the quiz. And under each method, you can watch a short video tutorial or read how to implement this method in your Shopify store. Now here I'll choose button link. And what I need to do now is to go ahead and copy this code that is automatically generated for me. And now what I need to do is go to my online store and then go to the themes, which is selected by default, and then go to customize here to customize my theme. And on my homepage, I've added a sample block here with a button. Now you need to click on the button that you want to link to the quiz. And now in the link here, you want to paste the code that you already copied. Okay. Now select the code and that is it. Now, one more step you need to make sure you do is to go to app embeds and make sure to enable both the link quiz and pop-up quiz. Okay. And you are all set. Now let's go ahead and save and let's exit the customizing, the theme customizing, and let's go ahead and view our online store and let's try to click on the button to open the quiz. Of course, I should have changed the text on the button to say something like click me to open the quiz or something like that, but you can change it easily in your theme settings. Now let's click and see what happens. 
and voila here is your quiz now the customer can click on start in order to start the quiz and go on with it so that is how easy it is to use Recomma in order to create engaging quizzes for your products on your Shopify store.